All right, let's try this again with a microphone. Hello, everybody! Welcome back to the second part of our uh, Railroad Tycoon video, where we are trying to complete this Russian quest. And the thing is, financially, we're doing extraordinarily well. That's not even a question. The problem is, we'd like to get the gold medal win. The bronze is fine. You know, all the cities are connected. That's easy. The weapon's a little bit tricky, but it's the 175 troops thing that's really difficult because we've got 16 loads of troops so far. So, as I was saying with my muted mic, if you go to a town that's got a, uh, a barracks, right? So the barracks, it each year, the barracks will supply and demand one set of troops. That's it. And they will want to go to places. So if we click on St. Petersburg itself, and we look at the troops here, uh, we've got troops coming here from Balakovo, Commission, and Kiev and from going to Bryansk from here. And they will keep like, you know, generating that. And they're basically going anywhere that there happens to be a barrack. Um, does Moscow even have one? It does. It's got a couple, but you know, like the question is, where are they all? And how do you improve that? I don't know. I mean, I guess the, the, the loss condition is sort of like if you end up with a city that's got a barracks that's not connected. That would be a loss of troop transports. So Maro's got one and is connected. Uh, Balakovo has got one and is connected. Um, Chemishin doesn't actually have one, but there's troops waiting here for the next step. Now, it is possible, some people have expressed this by, before, that a partial load does not count for the credit. If so, we're probably screwed. But other than that, I mean... Other than just hoping to connect more things up, I'm not sure what we can possibly do. Because these towns don't even have one. Uh, Kiev has has three, actually. That's pretty impressive. I mean, I think it's mostly going to be the places that were needed for the quest are the ones that have all the barracks. So we'll just keep connecting that way. The other thing we do have to do is trade some weapons. Um... So we've got one weapons factory here, here, here. I think what we do is we go and build a weapons factory. So again, the weapons factory want wood. I think they want what, lumber? Hang on, let's find out. They want lumber, which is cut logs, plus either iron or steel. We've got logs. Problem is getting everything in the same place. Do we actually have a weapons factory over here? We've got two in Samara, which is good. Don't get me wrong. We've got two in Moscow, but I don't think it's being supplied properly. We're going to want to connect this whole area up to Moscow just to try to get this iron up there. This is a munitions factory. We want to get all that hooked into our network as well. So let's get that. Ooh, that is a bit of a of a grade. Oh well. All right, so uh, you have a station, right? No, you're not actually hooked up. What? No. Yeah, you are. Okay, good. I'm gonna do that. One of those, and another one over here for good measure. We'll do a big one, and then some water stops along the way. Put a big one here, make sure we get everything in Tula. Tempted to make a big one here to grab a bunch of random stuff that's all over. It's probably not quite worthwhile, though. Okay, trains. We don't have any money. All right. I mean, we're still in recession, but yeah. Our trains should be able to turn a profit pretty quickly for us there. We're at a half a million already. Good. A uh, teeny tiny little train run there. And that. We're carrying coal and passengers and all kinds of goodness. Let 
connect with that. It's going to hit all three cities. But I think we will want more industry still. Now, I can build my own weapons factories, right? Yeah. That, I think that still is the way to go. And I keep looking for, like, the spot, and I keep getting distracted by things. Iron and coal. There's lots of coal there. It should be supplied by iron. It's got a steel mill, which we can also use. Things are sort of moving on their own. There's a steel mill here. I think we can basically put the weapons factory wherever the frick we want here, and it'll it'll somehow work. You know what? I'm going to put it here. Because we can very easily get trains to carry everything. That is covered by that. Good. Oh, we do need to connect this. I'm make a big one. Make sure to grab as much stuff as possible. So, oop, i got to zoom in a couple of steps so I can actually see things. Go there to there. And I think we're already running here to there. I'm going to run another one just to make sure. And upgrade this weapons factory. Okay. This should be getting fed with stuff as some trains go by. Because they should be picking up relevant goods. One way or another. They'll slowly leave these various coal places and they will reach cities. We do have a train that goes from here to here, don't we? This bad boy. What are you carrying? Coal and steel. That's exactly what we're looking for. I do love... I gotta do that more often. Hang on. Let's click on these trains as they go. Increasing my salary even more. Only 19 loads of troops. That is the big problem. And no weapons yet. This almost doesn't make any sense. I mean, at least we know weapons are going to be being produced here. from here it should happen are there any chance that there's logs down here that aren't being lumberized not really unless we go way over here you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna build a train this is where Balakovo and we want to go down to Maiko I'm going to build a dedicated train that does that. It's a little nuts. With a caboose. Grabbing some lumber down for us. Just to ensure that there's a constant supply of what we need. I mean, we're making money at this factory so far, but we're more interested in making weapons. You can see the coal is starting to move on its own. Or actually the iron. And there's some steel here. We've got steel at this factory. It's being piled up here. Bit of a shortage of lumber. Iron will help as well, but what we really want is the lumber to reach there. And we should have, I'm hoping we have Odessa to Myko. Oh, this is actually a trio of runs. Oh, Myko is in between Zappo and Odessa. Which is going to be fine. It's mostly bringing goods right now, though. I could increase the number of goods being carried. And I think that would be fine here. Let it bring six cars at once. Hmm. Okay. 
Can I build in Moldova? No, we cannot build in Moldova. Okay, I should really just keep connecting these little towns up. can't guarantee that they're going to help with the victory conditions, but they're not going to hurt. Again, if they happen to get barracks or anything like that, then it's really going to help. Hey, suppressed our work. We did the industry thing, so we get a half a million bucks for free, which is great. But what I really need to do is open up like a bajillion barracks all over the map. And I cannot build them. I can build weapons and munitions, and that's all. The hell? Oh, there's a building there. that. Yay! Tolstoy's War and Peace. Good stuff. Connect you. Connect you. Um, do that. Do that. Do that. Build a little repair bay. So that is Homiel. Homiel? Briansk? Briansk? Vinsk. I know, it's, prob it's probably more like that last one, actually. Connect all that up. Okay. So all those bad boys should be hooked up. I'm now making $84,000 a year as a salary, which is kind of ridiculous for the time. Buy all that. Go ahead and issue some stock for a bunch of money. Although we kind of have infinity money right now. We have 16 million bucks in the bank. We're getting money faster than we can spend it, and I think we're in a recession still. Oh, no, we're in booming times. Still. Still, as I said at the beginning of the scenario, money would not be the problem. And I'm not sure what technique to employ to try to improve the rate at which we ship um, weapons and troops. I could set routes that go directly from one barrack to the next, but I don't actually think that helps. I think that might actually reduce the number of troop loads that are effectively uh, brought from place to place. I mean, at least the Russians are being well supplied with an effective rail transportation network. No one can complain about that. The Russian people are very well served here. I hope they don't, uh, you know, consider me an oligarch or something. That would be bad. Although, look at the year. I got plenty of time. I'll probably be dead by the time the, re the revolution happens. Nothing to worry about. Take a big one to grab as much stuff off the river as possible. Do, do, 
do. I'm not gonna make any gay oral jokes here. That would be not at all nice. Throw a caboose on this one. There's actually quite a bit of a uh, transportation to do here. Oh, there's plenty of bits in the middle to still hook up. There's some munitions factories, which I guess there's some value to doing that. Oh no, we've got these guys hooked up. Okay. More lumber mills? Sure, why not? Okay. A few more missing bits, but I don't think that's actually going to help our trans our troop thing. It's I still don't think the gold medal is within reach and I haven't figured out what to do differently. I mean, you know, as that's saying, if you keep doing the same thing and expect a different result, it's actually not the definition of insanity in any way whatsoever, but that's what people like to say. But I can tell you one thing, it's definitely wrong to keep trying the same thing. Alright. Train. From Penza to Lipetz. Train, Saransk to Penza, Simbirsk to Penza, that one's a little bit bigger, we'll go ahead with the six again, and Penza to that, that's a little smaller so we'll do that one. Again, huge degree of interconnection. Virtually everything is connected. A little brewery here that's not, but that's you know, who cares? A church and a village, these guys are all connected. I think they're being serviced by trains as well. Yep, there's a train there. Possible? Nope, there's the train. Okay, I was gonna say, I didn't forget to build the train for those guys. I guess there's a few more villages up here that I could connect. Sure, why not? Through Tartu, through there. Here. That way. All right. Water, water, water. More water. We'll repair. Actually, we'll put a repair between these two as well.
Oops, I need stations. Here, that might help. Actually, hold on. This one's got to be upgraded. Damn it. Bulldoze. I'm going to make sure it captures everything. Okay. So, ooh, and I think things were getting cut off. And indeed, they still are. here to there and then from here to there there to there all right so Tallinn Tartu Peskov St. Petersburg are all connected so now we want Dugov pills to Velikia Luke. We couldn't play in Canada? Honestly, you people, why did you vote for Russia? I just like to torture me with these names. And then from Luki to Novgorod. Like that. So, out of curiosity, how are the uh, troops doing there? So yeah, I mean, I can make direct routes for them from one to the other, but I don't know if that actually helps. Well, maybe. Okay, here's one possibility. We don't have enough trains, so there's not enough troops being transported, especially since the trains are not carrying full loads most of the time. All right, here's what we'll do. We're gonna replace locomotives. Basically, anything that's not a consolidation, we will upgrade to a consolidation. Okay, now everything's a consolidation. That's step number one. Secondly, we're going to start with train number one. We're going to change everyone to carry eight cars now. They can handle it. There's going to be enough demand on the system. And we want to make sure that no one is leaving behind some troops or something. Now, it could also set up a bunch of expresses and different things like that, which might not be a bad idea. Again, I can make direct routes from one barrack city to another, but I don't think that would actually help. I mean, it would make more sense in that, like, the troops would get from one place to another faster, but it would count as fewer car loads overall because you want them to keep hitting those intermediary steps. There might be a limit to how far they're willing to travel, though, on these intermediary intermediaries. There might be, like, some mechanic about it that I don't know. But overall, I think they're willing to keep taking a train it'll as long as it keeps getting them closer how many trains do I have I know I have a lot Oh, you have nothing. Oh, you have no little thingamajigs in between these two towns. That is inappropriate. I apologize. Alright, upgrade all the things. Oh my god, my arm is going to fall off after all this. I have to get an ice pack. Wow, this is quite profitable. Just carrying meat.
I think I probably do need just more trains. Especially now, what we're going to do is we're going to wait. Now that we've set up the uh, eight car routes, we're going to wait to see how many of them are maxed out and then start cloning those. Oops. I think we are nearing the end. I think these are more recent cities that I just set up. There we go. Back to number one. Okay, good. Now, I think what I'm going to do is set up another route from St. Petersburg to Novgorod. Novgorod down to Tiver. from Tiber to Moscow. So you know there's barracks there. And they're picking up stuff right away, so hopefully they'll transport goods. And we'll do the western coast one. Moscow down to Bryansk. I could maybe just make them expresses as well. Bryansk to Chernov. It's an idea, actually, if I really just want troop transport. But I do want weapons as well. I don't know. Uh, turn off to Kiev. It's a short route. Might not need a second one, but we'll do it anyway. Kiev down to... To Odessa, really. Nothing in between? Kind of surprised. No, I guess not. How's our weapon factory doing? Not as capped as I would have thought. Okay, it's got... Well, it's the lumber issue still. I blame this construction firm. It's eating up some of my lumber. Well, I mean, that's the thing. I don't even know if I'm going to get past bronze. Honestly, don't know. I feel like there needs to be another train going from Samara down to Maiko. Try to grab more lumber. Oh, they're only bringing paper! Quite a valuable load, though. Tell you what, I'm gonna... I'm gonna clone you. What's this one gonna bring? Lumber. There we go. And I mean, I could have made a dedicated lumber train. It's always possible. And to a certain extent, might make sense. What does the chat think? Make Moscow a five star. I think it might already be. Oh, close. Not quite. Here, we'll uh, we'll pad it out. We'll bring in a hotel, a post office, a restaurant, and a tavern. There we go. I wonder if there's any chance we could get this to build fact uh, weapons. It's got steel mills. Are they producing anything? They're losing money every year. They've got coal. They don't have iron. Tons of iron here in Zappo. More than one. Oh, it's sterling. Oh, we might want to do that. This is one steel mill producing all that. Which is eating all the iron. But of course, the iron is not what I need. And this is Zappo, right? That's fine. I could get a train running between Zappo and Moscow. And just to feed steel mills, I'd be better off just building another steel mill somewhere else. It's got the weapons factory, which is not producing anything. It's got lots of lumber. You know what? We do really need to hook this up. If 
We're gonna go from Zappo to Moscow. Um, with the consolidation, which is actually faster, better. Bring some steel. I'm gonna clone you right away. Bam. More iron and steel. All right, or more iron. I don't think we're gonna make it, which is really a shame because it's such a successful railroad otherwise, other than the fact that they've got this weird arbitrary condition for the win. Making so much money. And we're rich. We're insanely rich. Here, we'll go into the negatives there, which is totally okay. We can issue stock, but why do we need to do that? We have infinity money. 41 loads of troops. It's going up. Weapons, definitely a shortage. I think we should just build more weapons factories. Like, all over the place. If we built one in Volgograd, I wonder if it would... I don't know, man. that has got some wood that's coming down naturally. It would keep going. You know what, this would be a decent place for one. I mean, I'm convinced that the problem is there's just not enough weapons in the system. We've got places that could build weapons if we could bring them the right goods. Now, they've got plenty of lumber. I mean, I keep looking at this. And going back and forth on, like, how to produce it. I mean, I've got trains, dedicated trains, coming from down here. I could make them dedicated steel trains, or iron trains, I suppose. Lumber should already be moving down here. It sort of is. Wow, there's a lot of lumber there. There's Sizrin. Down to Maiko. You know what? We're going to make you a dedicated... You can pick up lumber here. And then, I guess on the way back, you can... Here, a minimal load with a caboose, actually. Just to get back faster. Bring lumber to my weapons plants. You basically, like, your job is just to supply lumber to that general area. It'll get redistributed at some point, and that'll be okay. If only I could build barracks. Yeah, I'd also like it if I could bulk copy all the trains. At a certain point. I right, guess one here. It's a lot of logs. Here, we'll copy you. you have anything with, like, actually carrying eight cars and having a pretty good profit stat should potentially be duplicated. Wow. Okay, we'll duplicate you again. Alright, you've got a lot of cars, but it's not really profitable, so I'm not going to duplicate you again. Where are you that you don't have any water? Hey, 
And we'll duplicate you. And we'll duplicate you again. Okay, steel. Profitability is not insane anymore. So we'll do that. Duplicate you. More logs. Relatively profitable. We'll duplicate you again. More logs. Relatively profitable, but I think I'm going to leave you alone. Oh, this, like, freak train from a million miles away. Here, bring more rice. Bring more rice. There. Infinity money. Still gonna lose. <sighs> 14 years out of 20. 58 loads of troops, 16 loads of weapons. We might actually be okay. Just keep, like, copying trains. I can pretty much do anything even remotely close to profitable. A lot of good sitting in some of these places. profitable. Congratulations. I think I may have done this train like 17 times already. Yeah, okay. Whoa, where are you and why are you shitty? Well, actually, I think you broke down like legitimately, so we're just waiting on that. But Oh yeah, you didn't have enough uh, stuff between your two sites. Uh, well, it's not much of a profit. You're still hauling a bunch of stuff, but it's not profitable. I should be running on max speed here. Because otherwise I'm going to be duplicating the same trains again and again and again. go to that Novgrad, duplicate you, duplicate you again, Odessa to something, duplicate you, duplicate again, Alright, let's see what January brings in terms of stats. Many trains. Okay. Well, we're going to get the weapons. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Although we also want to feed the weapons in the barracks. I don't think that feeding weapons in the barracks actually increases the number of troops. I think it, they just demand it. I think that regardless, they create one troop per year no matter what. Well, we're going to get the silver medal. 100 troops. Question is if we can get to more than that. We should probably build more specialized trains where it comes up. Like just a bunch of express trains. I don't even know if that's needed. Copy you again. Copy you again. It's more demands for goods. Actually, the more trains we have, the more we sort of keep needing because there's just like more and more reason 
Like, there's more and more demand for things to be moved. Maybe my problem is I just never build enough trains. More trains. Whoops. Cancel. Don't upgrade. More trains. Alright, it's not really running a profit anymore, but... Probably my actual problem is just I don't build enough. I don't like to see the trains that don't run with much of a profit, but in this case that's exactly what I need to do because it's not about making money, it's about delivering carloads of stuff. And that means delivering cars that produce virtually no profit in the first place. these these are all trains that I mean might not continue to be profitable but they're sure as hell doing okay right now probably need to double track some stuff god damn this train Kiev to Kharkiv well they're both pretty major cities like they keep dra uh, grabbing full loads of stuff not turning much of a profit anymore but by grabbing these loads, they can potentially feed other industry and then turn a bigger profit somewhere else down the line. Okay, that's probably enough for that train, though. Wow, nice crack in the display. Hmm. Not even loading a full load, but it's a pretty good profit. I gotta think like a Frangi. All, all profit is good. You have to Odessa, that's going to be another good one. Yep. I should be able to clone this train a lot. Well, not as much as I would have thought. Simbursk to Penza's got some potential. Alright, stock splits doesn't really concern me. Ooh, yeah, lots of potential. And even more. And even more. Just keep getting that, yeah, get that lumber and stuff in the uh, the production cycle. 93 loads of troops, 43 weapons. All right, yeah, a little laughing on weapons. I would laugh if I accidentally declared bankruptcy. St. Petersburg to Puskov. Yeah, these are important trains, too, because you know for a fact that there's a, um, a barracks in St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg to Novgorod. I, like, go out of my way and build a handful more of those. Even if they're totally unprofitable. Novgorod to Tiver. Same thing. Clone. Clone. Tiver to Moscow. Clone. Clone. Moscow to Nizzy thingy. Hm, empty. Nizzy thingy to Ola. Not empty. Clone you. Clone you again. Clone you again. Okay. Ola to Kirov, which has a barracks. Uh, no. Alright, clone you. Kirov to Kazan, which are both pretty major cities, and there's barracks involved. Oops, it's the wrong train engine. You can get 200 trains in this one. Look at all this pulpwood. And more pulpwood. 
probably have a, uh, a paper mill in Kazan. Populism is in the ride. A radical social movement known in the West as populism has been on the rise in Russia for several years now. People start to worry as the aggravated group starts to threaten violence. No, oh, it's fine. Nothing's gonna happen. Nothing to worry about. Still another full load. And another full load of paper. Yeah, I'm gonna have to double up all this track. I need a bulk button for that. There's a button to bulk electrify all your track. I need a button to just double everything. Double this. Double that. Clone you again. And then from... Uh, hold on, that's not right. From Tog to Balakova. It's going to be another important route. Oh, not as important as I would have thought. Okay, let's go into the track doubling tool. Oops, that was wrong. Not what I meant to do. This is what I meant to do. Double all this stuff, because we don't want... Very many slowdowns. Goods must slow again, or er, must flow again, not necessarily for profitability, but just so that we can deliver enough packages on time. Otherwise, trains are constantly waiting for each other. Just the big loop. I'm not going to do everything. If, I, if there was a button to magically do everything, I would. But what's important is just the big loop. There. Like so. I should use trains going the other way. Moscow down to Bryansk. Make sure that you got that. There you go. W. W up. And again. Oops, wrong trains the whole time. And again. Actually, we're flowing lumber away from Moscow, which is not necessarily... No, actually, that's fine. Just get into the general system as much as possible. big bottleneck of trains over here. Babushka Express supports military. By hauling a total of 22 loads of troops this year, who showed their dedication to the Russian military awarded a $50,000 stipend. Or $500,000 stipend. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh my god, we're going to pull this off. The problem is not enough trains this entire goddamn time. And this train is, is just like perma-stuck here in Moscow. All right, we'll get back to you. Actually, tell you what, go from Bryansk to Moscow. Ah, tricky. Replace. And build another one. All right, there's got to be lots between those two. Replace you. Now we're going from Bryansk down to Cherniv. Just not doing that much. Okay, anyway, we'll go ahead and build one from Kiev to Bryansk. Even though it means not getting quite as many stops, it's probably still good for the system as a whole. Waiting for track to clear.
That is a lot of passengers. And mail. Do another one. I mean, financially speaking, this is my most successful map ever. Offline, recorded, anything like that. I've never made, like, quite this much money before. And remember, I do have a crap ton of loans still. Oil and clothing. Let's get another one. Yeah, you wait for that track to clear. Meanwhile. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Odessa to Kiev. Oh, there's some more weapons, but that's all it's carrying. I guess there's no point in cloning you. Well, unless, actually. It's not much going from Odessa to Kiev. There's a chance the other way around is more in demand. Kiev to Odessa. Well, probably just, yeah, going to be stuck a lot of track waiting to clear kind of nonsense. Oh, yeah. Do another one. And there's really only so much any one uh, station can handle. We just have so many trains, we're going to get a lot of those pop-ups. Doesn't even make any sense. How do we get, like, three of the same stops and nothing else? Odessa... To Myco. Okay, just the one. And it's so short, I really don't need to go overboard building those. Myco to Zappo. Nope. Zappo to Nippo. Whatever you're called. Not much of a demand for that either. Zappo to Donnie. There might be a lot of demand for that. Those are two really big cities. With a fair amount of industry. Mm, yeah, full load. Alright, we'll copy you then. We'll go Donnie to I know, Volga. Just, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a thing. And this one right here. We're going to clone you. And clone you again. Whew. Those are profitable routes. And again. It's a lot of alcohol. And again. There's really a practical limit to how many times you can do that before the, tra the track just gets completely clogged. Volga is about to get a bunch of deliveries of alcohol, so the demand will drop on that. I'm gonna pull this off. All right, let's clap you again. And then build more different trains. Volgo to Volgo. More clones. Are any of these troops? No, all passenger. Oops, wrong train. I, don't, I think I've already done a bunch of these, but what the hell? Let's see if there's any extra demand. Yeah! More passengers and alcohol? More alcohol? Lumber? Do that? Well, she start you in Togla. Togliati. Sounds, um, sounds Italian rather than Russian. At least the way I'm saying it. Samara to Cizrin. It's not like a major route, but there might be some demand for something like that. Yep, yeah, some. Price difference is not going to be huge. Samara to Kazan. Yeah, I knew that would be a thing. Let's make another one of those. And another one of those. And maybe another one of those. Yeah, we've really got some good mobility in our goods now. Our industries should all be doing much, much, much better. 
not much going on there, but that's not really a surprise. How about something like Penza to Kazan? What are you loading up? A bunch of paper. If I make another one of you. A bunch of logs. And another one. More logs. A little pulp wood. And more of you. More logs. Tiny bit more pulp wood. Pulp wood. You probably got a big paper mill there is what's going on there. Holy crap. Alright, well we're going to call it quits there. Uh, this is Varon to Penza. Passengers and alcohol. More alcohol. I think there's a lot of places that weren't being properly serviced. I probably should have gone train crazy ages ago. Actually, I could do something like this. Or can I? There we go. Oh, there didn't actually connect. Silly me. There we go. So now I can go from. I want to go from Liskey. No. I do want to go from Voro. From Voro. Down to Luhansk. I think that's what I'm looking for. Actually. Well, that that's fine. But what I really want is from Donny to Vronsk. That's going to lead to lots and lots of stuff. Assuming the track clears. Ever. With a lot of trains. Yeah. Another one of those. Oh, only one car. I think we've pretty much done as much as we can in terms of saturating things. What's We've got 236 trains. By far more than I've ever, ever, ever done. I guess we can come up with a few other like crazy connections. See if that helps any flow of goods. So from Kharkiv to Verons. Clothing, passengers... That's all. How are we looking? Holy crap, we're going to make it. We need how many? 175? We're at 170. We're actually going to get the gold ahead of time. Everything is connected. We've got the weapons. Oh, I'm so happy. You don't understand. I've tried this scenario like four or five times. I, I think I just never went like... Well, part of it is before I was running express routes. Direct routes from one barrack city to another. And it was only after the last run where I realized that may have been a mistake in that it was not resulting in quite as many um, actual like carloads of whatever being delivered. Because instead of being delivered from this city to 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 this city to, this city to the barracks, it was just being delivered directly from barracks to barracks. And, you know, I don't want to get, like, one-fifth of the amount of credit. And then, yeah, it's also the first time I went quite so crane, crane crazy, which is probably helping as well. But I think it's mostly the mini trips that are making the biggest difference. I 
Like, I already got one of those, but what the hell, I'll build the second one. There's a lot more little stops up here, too. Okay, we're going to embrace, like, the communist ideal. Every city must be connected. Uh, we don't need to double track these, though. <laughs> Let's be reasonable. Most impressive, you've gone above and beyond any expectation set for you and given Russia not only an extensive rail system, but a strong economy and military as well. <gasps> Outstanding job. And many, many years before any sort of communist revolution. Hey, how come... How come this is see-through from certain angles? Look at that. You guys have probably been noticing the whole time, but... It's not green, it's just gray. I have to get myself a green hoodie. Hmm. Choo choo! There we go. Gold medal run on Russia. Well, folks, I think that was a, uh, I think that was a very successful stream. I consider that to be a great success. I'm happy you guys voted for Railroad Tycoon, actually. Railroad Tycoon brings me so much joy. I can't even describe it. It's just so fun. And it was nice to, uh, to get some success in there. So that'll be the that'll be the end of the stream, and because uh, we've gone for five and a half hours, I did feel like the early parts of the stream were maybe a little unsatisfying, um, just in terms of I don't know the like, the games to pick the style and maybe my understanding of it or the flow of it or the open endedness of it or whatever. Rover Tycoon is very focused. You got a goal you must meet. Um, this and Tropico. Really good contenders for really good games for this, so we'll see. Maybe next week we'll do some Tropico. If we're lucky, next week we might be able to do Tropico 5. I don't know. I don't know what the embargoes will be. I don't know exactly when I'm going to get it. We're going to cross our fingers. Um, if we can't do Tropico 5, we might do some more Tropico 4, which I still haven't finished. I've never played any of the modern missions ever. Everything you've seen, all of the Tropico 4 I've ever played, you guys have seen. Uh, and obviously it's not enough because I love that game way too much, so um, we'll see. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Thanks.